Welcome back. This is step two of the tutorial. As I promised, now we will um, subscribe to the MQTT broker. Uh, earlier, what we've been doing is publishing MQTT messages, like the temperature. Now we want to subscribe to the broker, so as whenever there is a specific message that's, that, that is uh, um, posted by basically any MQTT client, uh, I want to be notified. I want a push notification basically um, from the broker to the CC3200. So now what I want to do is um, do the um, write the code that will allow my CC3200 uh, to be notified whenever such a message occurs. So we're going to use an example that's provided uh, as part of the MQTT examples, the PAHO examples. So um, uh, this is the example, and uh, if you look at the main, you can see that this, that this is how the um, one would actually subscribe to a broker. Uh, the variable initializations very similar to, to the to the publish, obviously, and then the um, the actual connection to the broker. So this is very similar to what we did in the publish. Uh, we create a socket. Um, all right, we we um, we prepare in in the uh, in the binary buffer the um, message corresponding to a connect a connect MQTT primitive. We write um, that MQTT message in the in the socket, and then and this is where uh, it uh, it's slightly different from the published example. Now we actually care about the answer that we get from the server. Earlier when we were publishing, well, we didn't really care whether uh, this was uh, properly sent or, or not. Now for establishing a proper and complete MQTT connection when we are actually uh, subscribed to, to the broker, we care about the, the answer we get from the broker. So what happens here, it's basically uh, we um, we're going to use the the socket. We're going to read what's in the socket and um, and serialize that as a um, as an MQTT message. If and if it's a, a con ag message, it means that we probably uh, connected to the broker successfully. Okay. So one thing that's interesting here, and we'll probably going to uh, need to to copy that method at some point is that the MQTT packet read method actually uh, takes care of reading in the socket. And this is what's happening with the get data method. So have a look at what we do. We are doing here, get data. This is actually reading in the socket. Okay. So we are, uh, for now we will copy the wall content of the main method. Uh, and we'll, we'll go through the, the rest of what the method does in just a minute. So we're going to take the wall content of the method and copy that in the MQTT task we've been uh, using earlier. We're going to recycle that. We're going to remove uh, everything that dealt with the um, MQTT, uh, the, the um, publishing of the temperature using MQTT. And instead, we're going to uh, subscribe to the broker. But we're going to keep the code that we've written so far because it's very likely that the socket stuff, for example, uh, will be helpful and we're going to reuse some of it. So um, paste. I've pasted my code. Um, vari variables initialization very likely similar. This we're going to get rid of it. Uh, we don't want. Uh, this was basically to support. Uh, control C uh, to, to kill the, um, the MQT example if you run it on Linux, for example. So we don't care. This uh, creating a new socket on IoT or m 2 mwkorg on port 1883. We have that somewhere in the code we've written earlier. So we're going to uh, copy it again. So where was it? Uh, new socket. URL and connect. This is what we want. Okay, so this is the very first uh, creation of the socket to IoT.eclipse.org. All right, then uh, we want to connect to the broker. 
So we need to prepare uh, a, a structure with our client ID and stuff like that. The credentials, we don't need any. This, we could actually use SL set sock opt to properly set up the, um, the receive timeout. I'm not quite sure this is mandatory. So we're gonna uh, comment that out for now. And then uh, now that we have uh, all our data structures uh, for the MQTT, for creating the MQTT connect packet, we are doing that and we send the write in the socket, which is SL send uh, on the SmartLink framework. No, uh, nothing like this as earlier. Okay, uh, do we have a Kanak and blah, blah, blah. So you remember that earlier in the pub sub example, we had this get data function. We'll actually do something similar, will we? So get data, this is supposed to be a method with a signature just like this. We're gonna just declare it here. Okay, instead of receive, it's probably gonna be SL receive. Uh, my sock, um, do we have my sock? I'm not quite sure. We probably need to declare that here, huh? Uh, and then this is gonna become my sock. Okay, should be okay so far. And uh, GTG packet read blah, blah, blah. If uh, the con hack is for some reason not successful and the message uh, we received back from the broker isn't really uh, a con hack, then we have a problem. Instead of going to the exit uh, label that we're gonna get rid of, we're gonna basically just um, exit the task and the, the NQTT task will just die. Same here, if it's not a connect, it's not normal. Now we need to subscribe to a topic. I want to subscribe to this topic. Whenever I receive a message on the slash blink uh, topic, then I will do some stuff. Okay, writing this is still by using SL send. Is it a subback that we receive? Yes, no, yes, no. Okay. Uh, and so basically at that point, we are subscribed. We are subscribed and um, hopefully what we will do now is an infinite loop where we read um, data from the broker. Uh, basically, most of the time we won't get uh, anything. This is gonna be a blocking call, but at some point the broker will have a message for us. It might be a publish, it might be um, any kind of, uh, of, of message that the broker wants to send us, but we hope this is uh, a message that we are, are interested in and in if it's, if that's the case, actually, uh, it means that another client will have done a publish. So we actually received the publish. And so if we did, it means that here, and that's uh, pretty straightforward, huh? we have at that point, we've been, we've been receiving a message and we've been probably um, unprocessed it, unmarshaled it, and this is the content of our message. And so here, we will probably want to blink uh, the LED, okay? Uh, but first, I would like to finish uh, to, to clean, clean up the code. What the, um, the example was actually doing is that whenever a message was uh, received, then uh, there was some kind of pack uh, of MQTT message that was published back. I don't really want that in my case. And uh, um, yeah, eventually I want to probably disconnect, but you can see that I'm basically in an infinite loop, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, disconnecting, MQGT CLS disconnect, and I want to 
send the disconnect MQTT packet to the MQTT broker. And that's basically it. So I'm going to get rid of the old uh, code. That is the wall, uh, the wall code, including actually, yeah, I should get rid of this infinite loop, right? Because it's elsewhere. My infinite loop um, is only once I've probably, probably subscribed. Okay, uh, let's quickly format the code. Not looking so bad, uh, according to the indenting. Let's try to build. All right, a couple errors. Not so surprising, but not that many actually. Yeah, uh, remember that fourth argument. Okay, piece of the code is compiling. So what else do we need? Uh, well, not so much actually. We want to now probably bring the LED and. Uh, for doing this, if I quickly have a look at the code and, and search in the, the source code uh, in the main file, I can see that um, there is some, some example somewhere in the out of the box application that um, uses this global variable that will be basically updated from the web UI to, uh, in some cases, blink the LED. So I guess that if I copy that in my blink LED section, I can probably blink the LED. Or maybe now what I want to do is uh, do this uh, depending on what's actually in the, um, in the payload. And the payload is payload in, this is uh, the, the actual content of the payload. So what I what I will do is, depending on what's in the payload, and so what I need to do is use str com, right? So if the payload in is um, equal to um, on, I want to start blinking, right? And if the, um, the payload is actually equal to off, then I want to turn the LED off. Okay, let's compile once again. Okay, this works, that's great. Let's run. Again, we break on the, on the first line. All right, my code is running. What do I need to do? Have a look probably at my MQTT task once again. What was the name of the topic? I'm, I'm expecting messages on. This is, this is the one, so. I'm gonna copy it, if I can finally copy it. Use MQTT Lens once again. Uh, well, I'm actually still connected. The subscription, I don't care that much. What I want now is publish a message. So now I'm doing this using MQTT Lens. You might want to do it using JavaScript, using Python. Uh, from a web app, from a mobile phone. It's up to you, really. So I want to post on this topic. And what do I want to post? I want to post the on message, publish. And now my LED is blinking. To publish off. And now 
my LED has stopped blinking. <laughs>